in this video, we are super excited to welcome Jacob Blank as a special guest. He is a video editor and director with a super unique and creative approach uh, to creating analog texture of its own, animating existing visuals, but also working in the commercial film and music video space. So today he's going to take us on a tour of his entire workflow and break it all down for us. So without any further ado, let's get straight into it. Hello, everyone. My name is Jacob and I want to show you a little trick that I do that I like to utilize in my work when I edit, when I make videos. Um, I'm not very good at animating, so that's probably the biggest reason why I do this. So, you know, you can basically jump into any software and just record what you're doing and everything that you're doing looks like an animation. And the cool thing about making these is that you're animating in real time. So you're basically doing something in that software and whatever you're doing is, you know, the final kind of render. I love filming the wireframes inside of 3D programs, but then I've uh, played around with Photoshop and kind of making these uh, organic editing uh, little gifts and you know finding random documents on your on your computer and filming those and using the text uh, as an overlay and you know I, I made lyric videos that are purely made in pages and blender is a free software so you can just download that and import some objects into it and record the viewport and here's your animation you know this is just pure real-time animating okay so even these lines already kind of look cool but we can hide those and let's import some pictures and I have I kind of pulled in some sample ones that I think would work well so basically you know you find your what you want to animate or you know you whatever screen record and you know here let's do and the beauty is you could even start recording now so let's 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 do it let's start recording uh, with basically you press shift command 5 on your on your Mac and you get this prompt and you can just start recording like this and you, you select this record section not the photo section because the capture is just a photo so I don't usually play around with these uh, I just have them saved to my desktop and can record let's see what we can make here so I love using the magic wand Okay, let's do, let's rasterize these. And this is already, you know, an animation right here. The, even the movement of that is already being recorded and you can use that. Okay, so this is, this is kind of neat. Even that, just a little GIF. That's cool. And that would be hard to do in, in like After Effects or something. I don't know how, how I would do that. And you can put other stuff under him so you know you can bring in another picture mm, what can we throw in here let's just do this one it's basically just a lot of clicking a lot of trial and error and uh, you know like clicking visible and unvisible on the layer and that creates the animation you gotta rasterize I mean even that is cool and then you can move this around. Let's see. Let's delete it. Select it. Now you know we have a little little moving animation. And you can always zoom in and hide the mouse in, in Premiere or whatever. And that took us, you know, no time. And it's already doing something cool. So you can basically play around with these settings over here. Uh, and that's how you get your animation. You just kind of pull pull aside the the options so you're not seeing your controls, which you know you could you could also show to make it like a um, breaking the fourth wall or something. But 
I like just doing, um, you know, sometimes the, the mouse is, the pro is a problem. So you kind of have to mess around with how you adjust, how to like set up your screen in a way where you can get away with hiding the mouse. So right now the mouse is out of the way and it's only gonna be, you know, like this basically. Yeah, but this is basically the the idea, you know, and it's this is what I do with for a lot of a lot of the stuff. And you go you can you know go deeper into um, like trying to create gifs that actually that actually work and you can animate sequences if you, if you take some photos and uh, start, you know, cutting out like parts of the photo. It's like this unfinished raw. And so you basically stop this and it goes to your it goes to your you know desktop or whatever and then you just encode it so you're gonna have to find it wherever wherever it was saved and then you have to you know encode selected video file this is like basic mac operations so and just you know select this or you can do a prores which is going to be really large so i do that when i need large files and high quality files but a lot of times I just go with this because it's the more efficient codec. And, you know, the awesome thing is you can, yeah, like you can do anything. You can go messages, you can um, record. I mean, Blender is kind of the, the best example because I was just working on a project that kind of required this um, this look geometry kind of vibe. Ooh, oh, there we go. I had it open for too long. So just open it up and yeah, I was doing this little... Um, little screen and the only thing i animated was was this camera movement so then i just recorded the screen and i got this this look so i wasn't you know rendering inside of the program but i was just recording this section of the screen so i would just do this shift command five you know select what i want to record and that's kind of that's kind of it you know um and then i let it go and i have my i have my video you know, I, this stuff, I don't even know how I would render it to look like this. So it's kind of like a lazy way, but it's also the only way to get certain aesthetics out of um, software like this. So it's all, you know, up to up to you and uh, whatever, you know, you're going for, you could probably create somehow. And this is just a little tip to save time and save, you know, your sanity on certain renders and just get creative with it because there's just literally infinite options of what you can do. You could go and um, record like a something online, you know, like record a, this archive um, library somehow like find Canadian libraries what is that like you go to well find something that's you know common uh that you're allowed to use I guess <laughs> internet arcade you could just you know record yourself playing a game I think everybody needs a lot of content these days especially if you're a small business um online and I think this is just a good way to like animate stuff even if you don't know how to animate and you don't know how to um make videos but this is just a simple way to create cool looking things without much uh you know in involvement really so you can record anything you know i mean you can take text community texts um like if you're if you need something that's uh, like document looking you could go in find some find something like this and even like you know record it in a way where you don't see me clicking and you get the animation of the of the page kind of loading there's something to that and like you can find ways to um, just record things that are yours or at least you know try to obscure things that are not yours so it's not just like plain plagiarism from you know things but just you know record stuff that you make and try to get creative with it try to make some fun stuff that no one else can make and now I'm, now I'm just rambling i don't know i think you guys get the point it's it's very fun uh i like doing this and i hope you know you guys get something out of it i think the most important thing to realize about this is you know you record something and then you combine it with something else so like you can use, you know, you can make GIFs in Photoshop and just use those, you know, put them into a square in your uh, video editor and just use them. But a lot of times I just like to combine the stuff I record with other footage or, um, you know, with other videos. So I think it's just, you know, you need to find what, what you want, what content you're trying to make, because you can just make pure 
animated content or you can make animations and then combine them with um, you know with other videos so like recording text and putting it over a video that you've already shot or you know just doing some silly stuff in Photoshop uh, and putting that on Instagram or whatever so like I said it's just so much you can record anything you can record a little thing passing by on a screen and make that into something you know it's it's up to, it's, it's whatever it's it's literally endless possibilities which is amazing I love that and that's why I wanted to share with you guys. 